the Lord of Lords. Let me know that you are in His presence in church this morning. Thank Him that you are in the sanctuary. Thank Him for His preservation. Thank Him for His love. Thank Him for His faithfulness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We will begin as we sing our hymn, Stand Up, Stand Up for Jesus. Amen. Amen. La, 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 la.
God. The need for the promises of God. And our God is not a liar. Our God is not a liar. And this simple song says, You cannot lie to me. You cannot lie to me.
last week to you. But you can go back home as a new person. You can all go back on the better person. I don't know if this last week was powerful, brilliant, productive for you. It can be better. So Lord, as we are saying, Lord, I don't want to go. The same way I came. Touch me with your hands. Let me not return the same way, Jesus. Let me not return the same way, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. 
Of 
Israel can not do with him as this bottle, says the Lord. Look, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are you in my hand, O house of Israel. Hallelujah. And, oh my God, let your word comfort with life. Amen. Let it comfort with light. Amen. Let it comfort with power. Amen. Let our lives be touched by your word. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The first thing I want you to say, the Bible says, the word which came to Jeremiah. From who? From the Lord. The word which came to who? To Jeremiah. From who? I pray good will come to you from the Lord. Amen. I pray something will come to you from the Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You see, when the Bible says, the word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Jeremiah was just a person like you and I. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5. What does it say to us? Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5. I want us to see who Jeremiah, this Jeremiah we're talking about. Who was this Jeremiah? The Bible says, the Lord said to Jeremiah, right? Before I found you, I want us to read it together. Before I found you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I was, I sanctified you. I ordained you a prophet to who? To the nation of God. See the two things there. The Bible says, before I found you in the womb. Is there anybody here that was found in the womb? Anybody here? Or somebody dropped from heaven? You know, there are, there are angels that, you know, I don't know, but I know that every single person in this house today was what? Was found in the womb. And the Lord said unto him again, he said, before what? Before you were born. Is there anybody here that was born? It doesn't matter either you are born, you are born in the hospital, you are born on the road, or you are born in the house. Because guess what? You, you know where I came from. When somebody is born on the road, they call them Abyssal. So they have a name. I don't know, maybe the one that is born in the house is born, is called Abyssal. You know, maybe Abyssal honor means road. And then Abyssal means different. So I have to call the name Abyssal, meaning someone that was born on the road. You see, the culture that I came from, they have pretty and almost name for anything. When you are standing, they tell you hey, good standing, and good room. When you are sitting, they say good sitting, and good joko. When you are looking, they say good looking, and good wrong. They have pretty for anything you are doing. <laughs> so this man, the Bible says, Jeremiah, was born in the womb, and Jeremiah was born by a woman. If there be anyone here that is born of a woman, anyone here that was born in the womb, that means God can do something to you today. Amen. Jeremiah was a, a man just like us. And then, let's get something else about Jeremiah. Let's go for that. Verse 6, what happened? <clears throat> what about this? Then said I, come on, let's read together. Lord God, behold, I am speak for what I am a youth. Hallelujah. This was from chapter what? Chapter 1. And our text is taken from chapter what? Chapter 18. Meaning that the man that God is speaking to now was once a child. And since he was a child, God spoke to him. When he was an adult, God spoke to him. That means that listen to me. When it comes to God speaking to a man, when it comes to the word of God coming to a person, God can speak to a child, God can speak to an adult. So one of us have an excuse to say God cannot speak to me. So is there anybody in this place that can say God cannot speak to me? I want you to say God speak to me. Speak to me, Lord. 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 You see, the young man, the boy, God Samuel. God came to him in 1 Samuel chapter 3. Let's go to 1 Samuel chapter 3. The Bible says, the word, the Lord came to him, and the Lord 
God in. Sarah. Sarah. Let's first chapter 3. First chapter 3. Let's see. Verse 4. The Bible says. Actually, let's read from verse. verse from verse. Um, yes, from verse 4. That the Lord. So what was he doing? Let's from verse 3. That was, and before the Lamb of God went out in the tabernacle of the Lord, where the ark of God was. And why Sarah was doing what? Why Sarah was what? Lying. Was lying down. So, Sarah. Oh my God. You know what? Let me go back. I didn't read it from verse 1 to ask for that context to it. It says, now the boy is Samuel. Everyone say, boy is Samuel. Boy is Samuel. You see, that's Samuel. That's what they saw. That's Samuel. That's what they did. That's Samuel. That big man. That prophet of God. The Bible says he was what? A boy. In fact, he was not just a regular boy. He was actually a boy that he took prayer for him to be born. Some of you, if your parents say, we are not even waiting for you. They say that they give back to you by by coincidence. Samuel, his own parents were looking for a child and they didn't have one. And he got and while his father couldn't get the mother to be pregnant with him, the father was able to get Benina to go out to have children. So this Samuel we are talking about was not even a regular child. And you and I, we are regular. Ah, your parents are going say you want to have, you want to have a baby. And then they did what God gave them grace to do. And you show forth. And even the ones who are not planning, they say you show forth. But you show, nobody needs to pray. I such you. But for him, the mother had to pray. And even when the prophet saw the mother praying, he laughed. He said, ah, you are drunk. <laughs> so this young man, and the Bible says that the moment the mother prayed. The mother said, "This child, God, they will give you a child, give you a boy, I will give the boy to you." And the, and the mother fulfilled that promise. That boy that seemed like he was isolated from the siblings. Mm. Come on now, don't you feel bad for him? Mm. If, you, if you know, if you have the privilege to play with the step brothers and step sisters. Why? Because his mother took him away from home and sent him where? And sent him to live with the prophets. And these prophets had to praise his children. Only and Phineas. They were crazy. They were not even home. You know why I know they are not home? They are always in the temple looking for meat, looking for eating to do. So they were never home. So this boy Samuel seems that he grew up alone. And probably some of you are the only child here. And guess what? When you are the only child, feeling lonely like the only child, they now put you with a man. Let's see what the Bible says about him. So the Bible says, now the boy Samuel ministered to the Lord. How can the boy minister to the Lord? He said, before Eli, and the word of the Lord was rare in those days. There was no widespread revelation. And it came to pass at that time while Eli was what? Lying down. The man of God has become, you know, if you go for that, you know, in chapter 4, you will see what kind of, that's it, you see, you know, he has meat in his body, you know. So, we don't want to say it was a fact, but that actually said, he was, you know, and then, you know, so the man, if you imagine, he was lying down to get him up when something serious. So, he was lying down. So, tell me what kind of life, you think the life of son was? Like a boy that was lonely. In the, I'm now living with an, an adult. I was not a young man, an old man. That you barely see. The Bible says, watch this. The Bible says, and when his eyes, and when his eyes had begun to what? Grow so thin that he could not see. Took him away from his father and his mother. Took him away from his stepmother. Even though the stepmother may not like him. But anyway, he, at least maybe the boy, you know, children sometimes. Parents may not like each other, but children, you see, you see two children, you know, two children play a shiny way that will grow up in the face me and face you. You know what they call face me and face you? I don't know what they call it in Jamaica, I don't know what they call it in Kenya, I don't know what they call it, I don't know what they call it in Guyana, I don't know what but in America, I don't even know what we're gonna call it in America. 
you know, testing against you is where you live in an apartment. Where when you come out from your own room, and that person lives just across from your room. When they open their door, you can see their room. When you open your door, they can see your room too. So, you know, this that kind of room, the kind of house. So we call it civilian barrack. You know? So meaning that not so much how much time is. Because your door, you are not going to buy a room and a pallet. You don't buy one room with your bed you living in and next door, somebody else is living next door. So if you spend too much, somebody next door, we probably knock on the wall and say, Can you tell your child to stop lying? So somebody else can give back to a child and that child is keeping them awake in the night. And you that are the next door neighbor, you are also awake in the night. You know why? Because it's facing me and you. So this young man, you know, so growing up in those days, some parents they don't like each other. But the children, by the time you see the children outside, they are there outside, they are playing together, and you see their mother or their parents, you see that a child woman, you know, everybody say hallelujah. All the women in the house, they say, oh, oh, hallelujah. Because, you know, you see, you see the woman, you know, probably looking for what is not lost. You know what, what she's trying to do? She's trying to give her own child a look. You know, almost like, don't play. But the kids, they don't care. So even if Penina wouldn't have wants for someone to play with the other children, probably it would have happened. But he didn't have that problem. They took him away, uprooted him, and got planting in the house of God. And the two children of the man of God, see what the Bible says about them. Um, first time she command, verse 12. First Samuel chapter 1, verse 12. You see, I said, you know, this one, we want to do, want, this is what I'm going to be doing, you know. We want, let's go to the first Samuel chapter 1, verse 12. What did verse 12 say to us about this children? First Samuel chapter 1, verse 12, the Bible says, no, oh, what am I doing? First Samuel chapter 1, no, it's chapter 2, verse 12. Chapter 2, verse 12. Chapter 2, verse 12. What did it say? Chapter 2, verse 12. What did it say? Now, the sons of who? Of Eli. Remember, because first time after chapter 1 was when Eli and Samuel was about to come. Now, Samuel is here. He said, Bible says, now the sons of Eli were what? Were corrupt. And what? And they did not know the Lord. So, you yourself, you agree that you may be looking for Samuel to play with. So Samuel now is stuck with this old man that God says was lying down. Where? What kind of place was he lying down? In his what? In his place. Another version will say in his usual place. So he has gotten to the point in the house of God that he has developed, you know, no more moving forward, no more growing. It has become business as usual. So he has a usual place where he's in. And now we couldn't see anymore. His eyes have grown deep, deep. And then what happened to the word of God? That's the word of God was, was red. Pay attention to this thing. God will read it in Jeremiah chapter 18. The Bible says, His eyes were what? Deep. You can see. And the Bible says, The word of God was what? Was cast in those days. So, hearing the word is not coming. See, the word is not coming. So, how is Samuel surviving? And the Bible says, and so Sam also has now got to a place where he too always was lying down. But so why and while Sam was lying down, that the Lord called Samuel. And he answered, Here I am. Who was he living in the house with? Eli. What did he do to eat? The Bible says, and the boy. So he ran to Eli and said, Here I am. And what was the response? For you called me. And he said, mm -hmm. I did not, I did not call you. Lie down again. And went and lay down. But I said, and the Lord called yes again. Someone, sir. Wow. This time I received your salvation. Some, some. So what happened? So Simon arose and went to him and said, Yeah, I am. For you called me. He answered, I did not call you, my son. Lie down again. Then he talked. Then 
Yes. Then the Lord called yet again. So, Samuel, now Samuel. Now, Samuel did not yet know the Lord, nor was the word of the Lord yet revealed to who? Okay. He didn't know the Lord. And the word not yet revealed. You want to know the Lord? Get the word. And the voice of You want to know the Lord? Get his word. You want to know God more? Get God's word more. So, because he has not yet known the Lord, he didn't know the word of the Lord. So, what does he know? He only knows Samuel. There are people that only know the voice of men. Oh, my pastor said. Oh, my bishop said. My apostle said. But the question is, what is God saying to you? You will know God. Amen. I come and say to yourself, I will know God. In the name of Jesus, God, you will reveal yourself to me. You will reveal your word to me. In the name of Jesus Christ. So, the Bible says, I God called to him. So, let's have, let's see. And God called someone again. The third time. Ah, ah. This doesn't give up. He called the first time, the second time, the third time. Someone was on the side. If this God can do that to a young man, what do you think you want to do with you? If God can keep calling on the Sabbath answer, God has to call some of us, but we are yet to answer. And I pray that your ears will be opened up to the voice of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything God wants to pass across to you, everything God wants to say to you, may our ears be opened up to hear them clearly in the name of Jesus Christ. He called again and again and again. You know why? Because he's a good God. He's a good God. He's a good God. He's a God that don't want us to get lost. He's a God that don't want us to see destruction. He's a God that don't want us to perish. So you keep calling unto us. Unto us. Unto we get it. May we get it right. In the name of Jesus Christ. May we get it right. So the first time we call him, he got it wrong. We call him again. He got it wrong. He got it again. Do you not notice something here? The first time God says he ran to Eli. He was so excited. Yes, he called me. The man said, I didn't call you. Huh. What do you think happened to Samuel? He felt like, am I even crazy? <laughs> Only two of us are in this house. I told you those other two guys, they are not where to be found. But God said they did not know the Lord. So they don't say they have to the come. They go for where the meat is. Oh, I don't have that for all. Don't worry, we'll talk about them. Maybe next week. Because they, they are busy struggling with God for God's offering. What belongs to God? They are fighting everybody. Why? Give it to me. Go and I challenge you to go first Samuel chapter 1 and first Samuel chapter 2. We will know more about them. We will know why they are never home. So, some of them have come to them. If you are home, some of them have said, ah, maybe it's all cool. Phineas that's coming, calling me, or all who hopefully that come their own. There are some people they are never home in their life. They are never home in the things of God. They are never home when God is calling. They are never home when God is speaking. They are never home when God has something to say. May we be home in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah, may God find us. Ah. May God find us. Ah. When the word of God ah, wants to change somebody's life, ah. when the word of God ah, wants to lift somebody up, ah. when the word of God ah, wants to turn the person's life around. Ah. Jesus Christ. They were never there. That was why their life never changed. Their life never changed because they were never there when the word of God was going on. No. But someone, so he looked to them. He has gone to the Father now. He said, hey, sir, you know, if it were you and I, he said, Sir, it's only you and I in this house, God. I'm not going crazy. Eh? Sir, he called me. He said, I didn't call you. Do you know this is the second time? The Bible did not say he ran. What did the Bible say the second time? He went. Meaning that what? The speed is almost like going down. I don't know if you are trying to do something before. We don't have so much excitement. Maybe to start the business. And you start the business with all the enthusiasm. And then they tell you, okay, you run into a loss. Or they say, oh, we want to introduce you to stock markets. Or we want to introduce you to crypto markets. Ah, in fact, if you look at the crypto market now, they call it blood bats. The thing is to stand me. <laughs> if your life is the name of crypto, you're in trouble. You see that? So it's the only thing that God. That's the only sure foundation. Yes. So, basically, when the first time you go to buy, you go to buy, you put 2,000 
or something to buy, and then the next day, look, your 2000 has become 1000. You say, hey, because guess what? You know, when did I tell you, ah, and that people go to buy? How would you, what would be the enthusiasm? <laughs> For me, fear of missing out. <laughs> you get, you start dragging your leg. You know, the same thing, when you go to a church and you're not blessed, maybe you want to go, let's go to that church. I say, oh, let's go, let's go. I get there. I didn't hear God, you didn't hear man, you didn't hear Jack. Then I told you next time, let's go, what would you say? Uh, no, my body is, uh, you go, I will meet you. They never meet you. You see, when you are not a blessing, people don't want to waste time with you. Mm -hmm. So now, the first time, the second time, now the what? The third time. God called him Sam. Let's say how God called him the third time. But he says, and the Lord called Sam and the the third time. So he arose and went to Eli and said, Ah, ah, here I am. For you did call me Esa. You call me. You call me. Have you ever been in this situation? You know, the people will tell you, oh, two people, two people cannot be, two people cannot sound, um, they cannot be sound for the lie. If the person lying does not know it's lying, the person you are lying, if the person you are lying to does not know you are lying, the you that you are lying, you will know you are lying. No, listen to me, not when God is involved. In this case, God is calling someone is hearing and you go to Hila, you call me, and Hila, he said, he did hear, remember? On whose head has gone, his eyes gone, because his children, they have offended God. God, God is not talking to him too anymore. So how can you be in the house? God, as loud as God of heaven and earth is, do you know how far earth is from heaven? When God calls, you will imagine the heaven with which that voice comes to him. No, it may be a small, still voice. But listen to me, something was echoing around here. But because that man's ear was already gone, because God was already done with him, I, I pray God will not give up on us in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember, we're talking about the maker's heart. See, when his heart is made up on the day, he was he made up his heart. Eli, I'm not talking to you anymore. Directly, mm -mm. the sound, I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. And the boy is confused. But watch this. The Bible says, Then Eli perceived. When he saw the resolutions of that young man, when he saw the strength with which he said, You did call me. The first time he said, You called me. The second time, You called me. But this time he says that, You did call me. You did call me. Ah! I can't be running up and down here. You did call me. Some of you, God is calling you, but you are running to men. God is calling you. You are running, and you are feeling, it's almost like you are being disappointed. Every time God wants to do something, you approach man. Every time God wants to take something, you approach man. And every time you approach them, you are not getting the results that you think you get. You say, tell me something now. They say, I have nothing to tell you. Say, so why am I here? Because guess what? You are supposed to do with God. Book of the Bible, and before you know it, you can go from Genesis to Revelation. 
You go from strength unto strength. You will not live on past glory. Amen. 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 It took the third time for you to not receive. When the boy said, Ezra, yeah, you come. Who is coming? Stop lying. You know, the boy did not say that. But what do you think is going on here? Sir, you did come in. That's it. There you can see. You know why? Because he had been there before. Yes. Oh, but why can't he hear God now? Mm -hmm. Moses, at the age of 120, was still hearing God loud and clear. And the Bible says his eyes were not dim, and his natural strength were not affected. Why? Because the man enjoyed God's presence. You will enjoy God's presence. Yes. You will enjoy God's presence. Yes. You will enjoy divine presence. Yes. In the name of Jesus, you will enjoy divine presence. At 120, if Moses catch you, he will be nonsense. Ah. <laughs> you see, my strength is my words, though. You see, I don't, that's why I tell you, fighting is not a gift of the spirit. You know? <laughs> don't let me go. Don't let me go. Every other man here, say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Hmm. <laughs> If fighting is a gift of the spirit, mm. so what's that? In a man, I'm the spirit. The way your wife will be is nonsense. Is it those who are from Jamaica? Those who are from uh, Bible? That their most is like, you know, they are the most that they are most is like in the country where women will have been very, will have been very, will have been. Oh, mommy, okay, what do you want me to do? You want me? I want you to drive. <laughs> I'm not talking about my wife. Hallelujah. What? Have you seen those just like that? Those women, they are so bad. But thank God, it's not a free. It's not a requirement of the spirit. But guess what? Watch this. This boy said you said something. And the man will only go back based on what used to happen to him mm. before. Mm -hmm. Then he perceived <clears throat> the Lord and called the boy. Mm. Then he said, Go lay down. Mm. Go lie down and shall be. If he calls you, that you must say, Do us speak, Lord, for your servant years. When God called, hear how the boy said it. When the Lord called, now the Lord came and stood and called as at other times. Make it number what time? The fourth time. The fourth time. God insisted, I want to talk to you. Everyone has been giving God a run. A run for his hand, for his money. <laughs> May God bring you to a standstill with him. May, we be, may, our, may our spirit be come to hear him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And finally, when the Lord called, Samuel! Samuel! And Samuel answered, Speak for your servant ears. What did the man say to him? The man said, Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord, for your servant ears. But what did he say? Speak for your servant ears. He didn't, he didn't remember the Lord. So did the Lord speak? Yes. Yes. You sure? Yes. Uh, yes. Why? Because it is not about how you answer. Mm -hmm. Just what? Answer. Mm. Just as I am. Without one plea. Yes. God has called you. Don't say, I've not called me, but I'm not well dressed. No, just come. Oh, God has called me, but I don't have offering. Just come. God has called me, but I don't know. Just come. Why? Because when you come, it will make him. Yeah. The make us come. Aha! Come on now. Uh. If the Lord has done something now uh, for someone, uh, God has told you to come as you are. Just as you are. And you came as you are. And you have seen the goodness of God. You have seen the mercy of God. Uh. Can you just give him a worship uh, by yourself alone? Uh. You know God has been good to you. Uh. Let to you alone. Uh. You should not be alive now. Uh. Let to you alone. Uh. You should not be the prudent. Uh. Let to you alone. Uh. You should not be anything that anybody uh, should want to reckon with. Uh. But when God uh, is for you, uh, and when God uh, is on your side, uh, he will turn things around uh, in your favor. He didn't say it for everything. 
for your yes. gospel. Do you know men, women, men, they can, you can address them. I've seen ministers that were addressed. In fact, one happened to me directly. I was called to the work on, um, I think it was a birthday or something. The pastor was doing something. So they told me to do an emergency MC. So I had to do emergency MC. So I introduced people. See, I don't know them. I just introduced them one man. So they tell me the name of this person I introduced. So they told me, oh, this person, this is Pastor So So. I introduced him. Then I said, oh, this is um, the wife. And I said, oh, this is the wife of Pastor So So So. So Mrs. Mm-hmm. The pastor came back. Point of correction. She is Pastor Mrs. In fact, there was a man who got introduced. They introduced him as um, um, a pastor and he has a PhD mm-hmm. and introduced him. He came back and collected him on the phone and he said, for the operation, I have a doctor in Denmark. I got a doctor degree in Denmark and a PhD from. He now had to add the other things that they did not. And by the time, the man who was telling me, he said, by the time, because it was his church, he said, by the time he was still speaking, he was wondering that why did he now expose himself? Because you should have just said that. Because when you now raise the bar, the sensation was what? Very high. But by the time you open his mouth, he said he has nothing to deliver. Oh, no. Because when somebody tell me, and I have a PhD, and I tell you that, you know, when I come to the place yesterday, so when I come to the place yesterday, I see how everything was due. <laughs> then, then, they shouldn't have told that person that it was a school site. May we not bring shame upon ourselves Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, so this young man finally got it. Not completely the way the mentor said it, but he got it. Speak and your spoke. And yet it was what? He and God spoke to you Even when you couldn't understand who was calling you, God called him. You and I, some of us here, we are older than him, we are bigger than him. We, in fact, we even have the Holy Spirit. We have the Word of God. We have the Bible. We have the blood of Jesus. We have all of these things. So we should have a better advantage. Why are you not hearing God? Because God is still speaking. Say God is, God is still speaking. God is still speaking. So instead of this, to establish, because we can come in with the, the maker's heart. We can have a second part. Because let's go. Sometimes we think that, oh, it's pastors that hear God. There are pastors that don't hear God. You may think it's all bishop that hear God. You may have bishop that don't hear God. You may think it's the apostle that hear God. You may have apostles that don't hear God. If not, why would Peter? When Jesus was saying to Peter, hey, be careful, what shall I do? And then uh, he denied his own master three times before he found out he has done it. What about David that God spoke to all along? Where was the Holy Spirit when he was looking at Bethsheba? When he was watching pornography from his roof? Until he made this to carry Bathsheba. Until he pregnant Bathsheba. Where was the Holy Spirit? Because guess what? He said, he didn't have the Holy Spirit. Go and read Psalm 51. He said, Lord, take not the Holy Spirit from me. Yeah? But guess what? Many of us, when we want to do what we want to do, it does not matter how you speak to us. Our ears are not closed. May our ears be open in the name of Jesus. And see what happened. So, God speaks to God. Speak. This Samuel was a boy. Jeremiah was once a youth. Now, a man. God speaks to people of all ages. May God speak to you. May God speak to you. May God speak to us. Not one time. But continuous in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's go on to that Jeremiah 18. Jeremiah 18. If that we do, we make us part. Part 2. We do it. Jeremiah 18. So what happened? So the Bible said the word of the Lord came to him, Jeremiah. And we understand Jeremiah was a man just like you and just like us. And yet God spoke to him. In fact, we saw his fear. He said, Ah, God, I can't speak. I'm a youth. He had fear, and yet God spoke to him. 
He was afraid of the people. If you read Jeremiah chapter 1, read verse 7 and then 8, 10, go to 17, 18. You find that he was afraid of the people. And yet God spoke to him. No matter your weakness, when God's mercy has found you, he will speak to you. No matter what you have done in your past, when God must find you, he will speak to you. May God speak to you. May God keep speaking to you. May God never stop speaking to us. In the name of Jesus Christ. When God stops speaking to a man, that man is speaking. If you don't believe me, when you see King Saul, me, when you just, no, go and read the Bible. I don't want to say, go and read the Bible. Ask him in the Bible. The Bible says, when you go to time and God stops speaking to him, he was so desperate to hear God that he went to ask a witch. Mm. W I T C H. All the time you dream. Is it God does speak to me anymore? He doesn't speak to me through the human and the tuning, the thing that he used to communicate through the priest. He doesn't speak to me again through the prophet. No prophet had a word for him. If any prophet go to him and say, That's not something that he said, it will be a lie. God was not speaking to anybody to speak to him. He said, even dream, he can take villain five, villain five, is that villain? You call it villain five. The same thing, take off, tell me, whatever, and sleep, and sleep, and sleep, and his eyes almost come out. He didn't have a dream of God. God would not speak to him because God was done with him. He knew that. God called first time. Why? Why didn't God say to Eli, Eli, I'm the one calling the young man, tell him that I'm the one calling him. God didn't speak to him. God said, I will keep calling you someone until you know I'm the one calling you. Mm. He refused to speak to Eli four times. You see, and this is the God that some people are messing with. This is the God we are treating, and God is speaking to us, and we are saying, I don't want to do it, I don't want to do it. Ah, listen to me, you better do it, because guess what? When God stops speaking, every, every other thing starts falling apart. past. Because the Bible says he is upon all things with the word of his power. So, the reason why we are standing is because what? The word is making you stand. The reason why you are alive is because God says you should be alive. The reason why you are breathing is because God says you should be you breathing. The reason, the reason why you can see is because God says you should be able to see. If you misuse anything that God has given to you and you stop speaking, those things will fall away from you. That's in the beginning was the word. John chapter 1 from verse 1. And the word was with God. And the word was what? Was God. In the beginning, the word, that word, that word, that was with God in the beginning. That's his all true. What is the word we made? Without him was what? Was nothing. Nothing. You want God to make something, the maker to make something in your heart, in your life, in your finances, in your health, in your marriage. You need what? The word and the word. So that they don't marry the devil to bring up God. You want to marry? You need the word. You want to go to a school where God, where there's not going to be, where they're not going to be pursuing you with God in the, in the classroom. God. Listen, there's nothing we do that does not require God. As a Christian, it goes that much to speak to us. But if he's speaking and we are not listening, shut down. And when we shut down, then we're in trouble. And when God stops speaking, you will look for it where you are not supposed to look. Saul went to the witch. The same witch, the same people he kicked out, he went to stand looking for them. Why? Because God wants to speak to him. Eli, God wants to speak to him. Because what God wanted to say was against him. And God couldn't tell him directly. Not because he couldn't tell him, because he has refused to speak to him. Because of his children. Raise your children in the will of the Lord so that they will not bring curse to He died. As of the time he died because of his children. Because that's when he heard about their death. He fell and broke his neck and died. Ah, you will not die because of your children. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your children will not die because of you. In the name of Jesus. You will live your life, they will live their life, and will live it right before God. In the name of Jesus Christ. So God came to Jeremiah and said to him, and this really amazed me. He said, the word which came from Jeremiah from the Lord. Ah, the devil will not speak to you. Because if God can speak, then the devil also can what? Can speak. 
man can speak. Something else can speak. But thank God, the Lord was the one speaking to him. I pray evil will not speak to us. Demons will not speak to us. Did is that speak to Eve in Genesis chapter 3? Did a lying spirit speak to hell so that it can go and die? Different people are speaking. Even the donkey spoke to man. Stop beating me, they feel it too. Why are you beating me? I'm trying to save you from death and you are trying to beat me. You are beating me this little time. Why? Don't you see the angel that wants to kill you in front of me? A donkey speaking. Where are you? Numbers. Numbers. And read Numbers 20, 20, 24, 25. And just read and see. In fact, I'm from 23. Numbers, Numbers 23. And see the life of the prophets that are going to sorcery. Ah, read Numbers 24, verse 1. And see what the Bible says. Numbers 24, verse 1. Numbers 24. See? Oh my God. He has come. He has become useless. He has gone to source. See? Can we read it together? Now, when, when Bala saw that it was what? He that it pleased the Lord. And that was to bless Israel. He was. He did not do what? Go as an other time. To what? To do what? To seek, to use sorcery. Did not the prophet use sorcery? Say, ah, it's the man of God. He told me my name. The name of the name of the When did you call me your name and call me your name? That's the problem. When sometimes God comes, I'm very scarce. Anyone that's available, people will rush to it. Ah, may God raise us up as men and women that will carry the authentic grace of God for our generation in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Quickly, see what happened. God spoke. The Bible the word came to him. But hear what he was saying. Jeremiah chapter 18. Jeremiah chapter 18 from verse 2. The Bible says, God said, What? Arise. And go down to where? To the potter's house. And there. Where? There. Where is it there for you? The potter's house. God says what? I will be cause you to what? Uh -uh, I'm confused. Hello? <laughs> what did that say came to him in verse 1? The word was. Uncle, bros, all the brothers in the house, shout hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, use your deep voice now. Come on, brothers, and come on, let's go, come on, let's go. Come on. Hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> Who was speak with? I thought the Bible says, Jeremiah chapter 28, uh, chapter 18, verse 1. What the Bible says? Verse 1, the word of the Lord. Right? The word which came to Jeremiah yeah. from who? From, from the Lord. Lord. And God says what? Verse 2 says what? Arise. What is that? When someone says arise, what, do, what are they using? Come on now. Come on now. What are they using? Well, arise. And what? And go down to the potter's house. And there. I was, I will cause you to what? To hear now. What would you say? Is that what about this one you are saying? You will not hear this. Amen. You will not hear things that do not mean anything to your destiny. Amen. Many of us are hearing, but you are not hearing. You are not hearing what God really wants to say. Many people are hearing. And you see, do you see the hair? You see that you look like funny. I don't know what is that. Yes. And God bless you. Different sizes. You look at my own. This is that they press me here. Because they are small. But they can hear from me. Five distance. Hallelujah. And God bless some of us. We have big ones. 
But you know what? Do you see that? When you turn it like this, it looks like a funnel. You, you pour it it to receive. Your ears are meant to what? To receive. God was speaking to him, speaking to him, and yet saying, What I really want to say, I will say to you when you get there. Many of us are too quick to run away from God's presence. Now, you read Matthew. You think you have read the whole Bible. Now you are not reading the game. Can you please tell me what is one? Listen again. Listen again. Read again. Read again. I hear again. I hear again. I keep hearing. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Right? What do you think God was establishing? But I said, the one thing to him. And he was saying, Arise. Go. What does it say to him? Say, How many times do you have to speak to say, Arise and go? Arise and go down to the potter's house, and there I will cause you to hear my word. Amen. Come on, let's practice it. And then you have to open your mouth. Arise and go. You can basically count all those words. See how many times God has spoken. And yet, He said, I really want to tell you something, but I'm not going to say it to you until you get to where, where I want you to go to. That is what the Christian way is. You may be hearing God, but you may not have heard God. Uncle, I hear God. Are you? Hey, uh, my God. Oh, this is, this is, it does not matter your own style. All of that will not mean anything. It will be wind, still blowing. The real thing has not yet come. And if you run, before you get the real thing, it will crash. Do you know God was speaking to this man and yet God has not spoken? Because the real thing he wants to say to you, he said, I want to say to you, do you know that in Acts chapter 9, God appeared, the Lord Jesus appeared to Saul of Tarsus while on his way to murder the people of God? Verse 6, before you get to verse 6, let's read from verse 3. While on his way, what happened? Acts chapter 9 from verse 3. And definitely, you're going to have to have two. <laughs> if I did, I mean, if they do, they do, they do, they do. Because guess what? There's something God is making up of somebody's heart. You are going to become who God wants you to be. We are not going to rush this one. No, 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 no. Please, someone, every employee, the pastor, please don't rush this one. Please don't rush this one. No, no, we are not rushing this one. Mm -mm. You see what the says? As he journeyed, you see that? He went to go to Damascus there. And as he was, as he journeyed. And what? He came near Damascus. Almost to where he was going. That's where he got a little tattoo photo. And the Bible says, and suddenly a light shone around him. From where? From heaven. The next verse. Then he fell to the ground and heard what? A voice say to him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Is that not talking? Is it not talking? Talking right? Uh huh. Then let's say, he says, then let's want to say, did he stop to me? He said, and he said, who are you, Lord? Because he know that he must take a lot to do what is happening to him. Then what did he say? But he said, then the Lord said, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. It is hard for you to keep against the cause. Let's try it. You keep picking. You keep picking. I see you will bleed. You want to fight your God, you will be in trouble. You want to go against God, you will run into trouble. He said, it is hard for you to keep. I don't care how good your boot is. Keep kicking against the gods, against the priest. Very soon, you begin to chip off. Chip off until you get your own leg and get into your blood. And then, you see, verse 6. Let's see what happened verse 6. Then the man. So, wait. Then he said, so, he trembled and astonished. Said, Lord, what do you want me to do? Won't you have said, the one that has been talking to him, I am Jesus, who you are persecuting. So, so you, won't you expect him to say what? Oh, this is what I want you to do. This, no, what did he say to me? Let's read it. Lord, what do you want me to do? Then the Lord said to him, Arise and what? 
and go into where? Into the city. And what? And you will be told what you must do. Why don't you just trust them in that? Why don't you trust them? Why do you like that? People of God, can you wait on the Lord? You want to hear God? Let you want to wait for Him. You want to hear God? It's almost like, God, huh? Now, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, sit to me now. Sit to me now. Lord, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, two minutes. Oh, I didn't hear anything. God don't want to speak today. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. Do you know you can be working your own service and for the next five years you have not really heard a major word from God? Because what? He's still watching. He's still watching. You are hearing this like, who the hell? Who the hell? Are you on my side? You are hearing all of that. But your purpose is still what? Is still what? Because I'm not going to give. The Bible says Matthew 7, verse 6. Do not give what is secret to dogs. And do not throw your arms to the pigs. Let the trample it on that foot and turn and attack it. Do you know you can say something precious to people and they use that to show you? May you not speak to your enemy. Amen. May you not give your life to your enemy, to your enemy, to your enemy. Amen. And God will not give us to the will of our enemies. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Can you wait? Can you wait? Arise and what? And go into the city. What did he say to Jeremiah? Arise and go to the potter's house. Then we will hear you so, so, then they will talk to you. Sir, but you want to come, why don't you talk to me? Why do somebody else have to tell me now? Okay, let's do this thing fast, fast. I'm busy. Because God will tell you. And you know, the man that will open his eyes did not show up until what? Until the third day. My father also told Ananias, he said, Saul has been fasting. He has not eaten, he has not drunk anything for how many days? For three days. That's how long it took. For God to tell you what you want to do. I think we want to go home. What are you? They that wait upon the Lord shall remain just. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run, they shall not be weary, they shall walk. They cannot do faith. Can you wait on the Lord? Say, no brother, you want to marry the will of God, wait on the Lord. Say, no sister, you want to marry the will of God, wait on the Lord. Bro, God has called you to ministry. You want to do it correctly, wait on the Lord. God has called you to go for Him. You want to know where to go, wait on the Lord. Don't go on yourself. If you go on yourself, you, 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 you will have to protect yourself. You marry, no, they told me I'm getting old. I was married now. I'm married like three years old. I was married. I marry a non believer. They say, Why do you marry a non believer? I will convert him. Ah, you will convert now. You don't convert anybody. Say, Nobody, say, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody comes to the Father. They said to me, If God, don't call them. You can't call them. If you think you are going to lose marriage, to make to not try anybody, you now to convert it to become uh, you're wasting your time. <laughs> Have you not heard the pastor that was on the altar for 30 years before he gave his life to Christ? Preaching for 30 years before he gave his life to Christ. Because it was what? It, to him, in the Baptist church, it was just business. It was just a profession. So at the stream, people can carry this and go and scream and shout. Because guess what? They have learned. They will not speak life, but they will speak letters. And to people that don't have spirit to hear the and they will be fine. Say, oh, look, oh, 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 I just want you now. Just get up on your feet and turn around. Oh, just turn around to the times. Turn around to the times. Jump off for times. Jump off for times. As you turn around and jump up, God is going to make your sickness to jump away. And then you get out 
after three months, the man died of the same sickness that was going to drop away. Mercy, Lord Jesus. Uh, and nobody can go back to the message. I said, sir, you said we should jump later and the signal is black. The signal is not like wait my brother up. But everybody waits this pastor. That was his how you know the prophet. When what he says come to pass. In those days, the man said, God said the Lord, he didn't come to pass, they will stone you to death. But today, why are you ready to say the Lord? Even by the time they are speaking, you already know God is not speaking. When they begin to tell you, I am the Lord. <laughs> Let me leave you. And God is saying, Son, I'm not saying Jack. I'm not saying anything. So, the mother of Moses was Miriam. As I give Moses to Miriam, how can God not remember the name of the mother of Moses? How can God know? The one time they, they say I, and then they say, Oh, the Lord want, the Lord will help you in Jesus' name. How can the Lord is how can God be speaking and telling you in Jesus' name? Is God. Hallelujah. Doesn't speak as man. God will never speak to you and be speaking to you and say, I'm the Lord, I'm the end, I'm the end, I'm the end. Listen, all of that is story. Because guess what? So we have two or three and I like my name. I am there. It's not a prophecy. But sometimes when trouble comes and there's chaos around, and you are looking like, am I not in the will of God? That's a son, I'm here with you. You will know when you have to give that insurance. Not just because you want to say something for sin's sake. Then after from that, in, uh, as the Lord has told you before, before after God will talk to you, he started with the Lord, speaking to you from first person singular, now we are saying to second person plural. Then that finishes and and nobody will die in your midst in Jesus' name. I can go speak like that. I can go speak like that. But when you don't know God, everything looks good. You think because it looks good, it's right. Not everything that looks good is right. Not everything that sounds good is right. So the Lord said to me, Go to the potter's house and what? And I will cause you to what? To hear my words. My words, I'm going to stop. You know why I want to stop? Because the Lord told me, He said, Son, I told him to go to the, the brother's house, not to the slaughter's house. Because the, slot, the brother's house, what do you think happened in the brother's house? There's a making. Yeah. What do you think happened in the slaughter house? Yeah. There's a king. Don't you know there's hope already? That moment that David said, I was glad. When they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Rise up on your feet. Yeah. Come on, give. Just say something nice on the Lord. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. I was glad when they said,
You are cursed with a curse, for you have robbed me, even this whole nation. Verse 10. Bring all the talents into the storehouse, that they may be food in my house. And try me now in this, says the Lord of hosts. If I will not open for you the windows of heaven. Is there anyone that wants the windows of heaven to be open up to them? Hello? Amen. If I will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out for you such blessing that there will not be room enough to receive it. If you are ready for that blessing, I want you to rise to your feet. If you are ready for that blessing, I want you to rise to your feet. And if you have your tithes, if you have your offering, I want you to raise it up unto the Lord as we pray. I want you to speak to your offering. Your offering has ears, it's a seed. There's life in it, it has ears, it can hear. Speak to it, speak to it, speak to it. Send it on an errand. Speak to it. Jesus, mighty name, we have prayed. Father, we have obeyed your word. You said we should bring our tithes and our offerings. Father, we have brought it before you today. And Father, you have promised us, Lord, that when we bring it, you will open the windows of heaven, Lord. Father, we declare this afternoon that the windows of heaven are open unto us in the name of Jesus. In every aspect of our lives, Lord, let there begin to be an outpouring of your blessings in our marriages, in our academics, in our finances, in our health, in our spiritual life, in every aspect of our lives, in our careers, in our jobs, Lord. Let in the mighty name of Jesus, such that we will not have enough room to contain it, because from henceforth we will go from running over to running over to running over, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you, because that which you have given unto us, we have brought from it back to you. Father, receive us, Receive our offerings and our tithes. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Come on, come on. Lift up your voices unto him and just talk to him. We believe him for worship. We have had worship. We believe him for the word. We have heard the word. Now let what has begin to take place now. If you can pray the Holy Ghost, pray the Holy Ghost. Let Lord, we decree, we declare. There shall be no death in our midst. There shall be no sickness. There shall be no diseases. We cancel everything that the enemy has planned for anyone and for everyone. We cancel them in the name of Jesus. We decree the mind of God. We decree the mind of the maker. We are starting the act of the maker over our lives. It's your God. He says, I know the thoughts I have towards you. It's so good and not of evil. To give you a future and a hope. To give you an expected end. We receive the will of God. We receive the mind of God. We receive the blessing of the Lord. Let the doors be open to us. Let the doors be open to us. Doors of opportunities. Doors of opportunities. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be lifting this week. Let there be promotion this week. Let there be good news this week. In the name of Jesus. Shut every door of death, we shut every door of sickness, we shut every 
of the Father and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Hold on. April 27 and 28. We are having our first, the maiden edition of our Lord I Believe Citywide Prayer Summit. Amen. Where? Yeah. Come on, shout it loud. The last time we had a Lord of Belief worship night, we had to pay. Yes. Hallelujah. To use the stage. But now we have a stage. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. We have a stage. Hallelujah. Yes. We have a stage. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. So we meet it right here, April 27 at what time? 11 a.m. and April 28. April 27 is Saturday. And April 28 is what? It's Saturday. And the Lord bless us all in Jesus' name. Sunday. Please invite people. Yeah? Sunday. Sunday. Oh, Sunday. April 28 is Sunday. Sorry. Yeah. April 28 is Sunday. April 27 is Saturday. So we meet here at 11. And the Lord bless us all in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. And people ask you, why do you think God is going to answer you? Because what? The man has fallen to me. Yes, I have a good This is So, well, if I come, what would that be my testimony? Oh, the testimony will also be the line has fallen to me in plenty of places. Yes, I have a good inheritance. For sure. Yes, you and I will not be saying the same thing. Are you sure? So what will be the same thing? What will be common about what we are saying? And what we will be saying together is the one. The line has fallen to me in place and places. Yes, I have a good inheritance.